Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put together a quick video, just running you through a bit of information and the fix for a fault on this 2018 Ford Focus. And this one's a one litre Eco Boost. Basically, the issue we're having, we've got the engine warning light on. We can clear the fault code out, um, but it comes back on after about a mile or two. Um, we've done a full code scan with a diagnostic. Um, top down diagnostic scanner now these are the normal fault codes that it puts in for this issue you can see in the engine control module we've got p013e oxygen sensor response delayed bank one sensor two and it does also log a couple of faults in the abs ecu which are just relating to a communication issue from the engine control module as well so um, but the issue with these it's a really common issue we've had this a few times now it's actually relating to the Lambda sensor. This one's obviously sensor two, the rear most one. We've got a genuine Ford sensor. If you check out the description below, I'll put links to a sensor and where you can get them from and the part number. Um, but just once I get it up in the air, we'll just show you where the sensor's located. Once it's fitted, we'll get it cleared, give it a good road test, and just make sure it's definitely fixed the fault. But as I said, I've had this fault a few times now. I just thought I'd put the video on there in case it helps anyone with the same issue. But yeah, we'll just get it up in the air now and just show you where it's located. Nice, yeah, just got it up on the ramp now. Just took the under tray off. Just got a load of little torque screws holding that on. Um, if you just come up to the back of the engine, you can just see, just got the sensor just fitted there, just to the back of that, just with a wire on it and just the plug, you just see up and around the top there. So we're just going to get this swapped over now. We just need a 22 mil spanner or like a crow's foot socket to uh, to get it off. So we'll just get that all swapped over. And once I've cleared the codes out, just let you know if it's fixed the fault. Uh, so the new lambda's fitted now. The wire is quite long, goes right up on the top. Was a little bit awkward to do, it's better off getting it from on top and just taking the air pipe off. Just use the Lambda sensor tool just to get it out, that's all. We'll just get it down now, clear them bolt codes out. Just to show you the plug location on top, this was the part that we took off. And just look through that gap there, just a black one there. As you can see, once you've got this pipe off, it's quite easy to access it then. We've got all the fault codes cleared now. Now they have cleared out, they would actually clear out before, as I said earlier on, after about a mile they would come back on now. So what we're going to do, give it a decent road test, just rescan it again, just make sure it's okay. Right, so we just took it for a decent road test, we've done about five miles, drove absolutely spot on. As I said before, the light was coming on after a mile. We've done a full code scan with the top down scanner afterwards. And you can see, it's nice and clear in there, no faults at all. So it's definitely fixed the fault, it's a really common issue, so I just thought I'd put... Now, you do really need to be checking the wiring to be 100% sure, but these Lambda sensors are becoming a really common issue on this engine there. So the Ford dealer had quite a few of them in stock. I just thought I'd put the video together if anyone had that same issue, issue with theirs and wanted to check it out. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.